it's only you and I that have watched Mandalorian. Uh, mm. So I thought we would just cover that at the start, although uh, it, it, it's kind of like the headline title of the uh, the video, you know, Mandalorian season three, episode two review. But there is more. We've got a lot more to mm. cover. Uh, I've already done my review. I've not watched your review. I don't know if you uh, I think you've released one. I did not. You did not. Okay. I well, did not. I did not. My bad. Yeah. Uh, but what did you think of it? Um, I thought it was fun. I thought it was. I thought there was some, you know, really cool stuff happening. You know, I um, and it was, it was, it's, it's adventure, and whether some of the choices they're making, it's, it's all in good fun. That's how yeah. I saw it. I, oh, what? Um, I elaborate. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, because there's so much you know, kind of action that happens. It's the the episode's called "The Minds of uh, Mandalore." Mm. And uh, we get to go on down there uh, with uh, Din and uh, Baby Yoda and Grogu, man. His name yeah, is Grogu. well, I, I like Baby Yoda. I, I like <laughs> I, I like the the video where Pedro Pascal the other day accidentally called him Baby Yoda. <laughs> I've not great. seen that. That's a great that. interview because he says it and he's like, "Oh, I gotta go." <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, it was cool to see his powers. You know, he's working his little powers, um, and uh, in, in, the boy can move. And you know, uh, Ding gets in a bit of a tr bit of trouble, and uh, he gets captured by mm. you know these native aliens down these native Alamites. They were cool. Alamites, okay. Alamites. And then this kind of half this wannabe grievi grievous type of character yeah character. it was very very general grievous wasn't that i got all that's, grievous that, that's that. what i understood from that was very yeah. very general grievousy so you know everything that we've been kind of wanting as far as aliens and action laser beams and you know chases it, it's been happening in the last cut in the last mm. you know in the first two episodes um i definitely liked bo -Katan. Oh, well, Katie Sackhoff, what a great actress. She's fantastic. Uh, but that, that, that scene in episode one was a little weird. So it was good for yeah, her. That was, yeah, off. weird yeah. edited. There was a bad edit. And the mm. fact that no one else is there and she's like all like, you know, bored yes queen, you know? <laughs> I'm like, you can just get up, dude. You can go do shit. Well, it was shit. a bit like that, that in... Uh... In episode two as well, still wasn't it? That's still a bit right, but at least she goes and and it, right. So you, so it, it's really not until uh, Baby Yoda comes back and says, "Yo, we got to go save Din," that she gets off her ass, and that's when the adventure starts. I thought it was a lot of fun, um, and her fight scenes with the aliens were were, were top notch. And mm. then she gets to handle the dark saber so much. That, I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Yeah, you know, also to the uh, the depth of it, as far as like the mines, like they had to travel so darn deep down into these caves, and then she had to save them. In the once he goes into the waters, giant mythosaur. That's a huge mythosaur. So huge. it reminded me of um, for you know, uh, it reminded me of Phantom Menace when they're going underwater. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. I, uh, I kind of cool you know i mean yeah i mean again it's like it's star it's star wars and i it's it's not it's not deep you know like andor it's good yeah. good action um it's very it's very um very child oriented which i think is fine like i don't mind well it's a good I, i'd say a blend i'd say it's child and blend and oriented i mean i mean she you know they were cutting off limbs they were they were smoking people that was fun. yeah. Th those fights with the Alamites were quite brutal, actually. Yeah, like stabbed to the stab to the to the neck and hacking them up and stuff. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was pretty brutal. A lot um, of stabbing. Mm. <laughs> um, what else? So yeah, I'm I'm in. I mean, you know, that's really this is really the best kind of actiony Star Wars we have mm. from Disney and. You know, um, I have so many problems with Disney that I'm like, okay, this is decent. And, um, yeah. l you know, let's see how they build from this uh, for this season. Um, I think that's it. Oh, oh, and of course they go, they go to Tatooine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, All roads lead to well, Tatooine. Well, you got R5D4, 
which is the same astromech droid from A New Hope. So that was a nice little Easter egg. It's exactly the same one that um, blew up and made Uncle Owen buy R2-D2. Well, and I think what's interesting now is that for, what, the third season now, um, Pili Matu, Pili, is that her name? Yep. Has returned. So we're, like, so used to her being such an oddball and speaking Jawa. Mm. It's 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 endearing at this point. For me, you know, I'm like, I love this character. I think Yeah, there's a, there's a nice roster of characters that this yeah, is bringing in. Yeah, she's a kook. She's a kook, yeah. and she uh, and I I loved how uh, how uh, 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 Baby Yoda jumped out of the out of the mm. uh, spaceship into her arms like like a like yeah. a little G. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. That was very very cool. Um, and she's running her her um you know she's running her and swindling people so swindling chop, people chop shop she's got it down yeah I thought oh, that, was, that was great there was a slight mention to of Boba Fett so he's you know obviously you know. Uh, we're in Boba Fett's uh, city, mm. mo- you know, and That's territory. True. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought that was interesting, and uh, she was great. She was great, and uh, mm. I had no, yeah. Again, again, yeah. And then bringing back that that old uh, droid, it was it was funny because the thing is, is that he takes the droid, and the droid, the droid mm. is a nervous, is a nervous mess, and very it doesn't insecure. want to be there. <laughs> Like, he does go, not baby. want to do anything. <laughs> so I thought that was great because he, he was such a mess in the original Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that's 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 really it. You know, I, I mm. I'm, and then I'm on to the next thing. Meaning, like, you know, like it, it was like, all right, cool, this is great. Didn't didn't offend me, didn't upset me, yeah, because <laughs> I'm so used to, to Disney doing that right now, <laughs> especially yeah, with the I mean... Zorro news. I just did a video on, on Zorro yesterday, mm. uh, where they're reimagining and uh, for a modern audience, Zorro, you know, God. Disney Plus, you know, right here, right here. Yeah. Um, so this, 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 this made me happy, yeah. So, yeah, very, very similar. It, it's something which is, is very non offensive. Uh, it just works as it is, and you know, I watch an episode. I'm like, oh, okay, and I'll wait for the next one. You know, wait, wait for that. It's not like, yeah, like it's very much a light-hearted, sort of skin-deep Star Wars, whereas Andor was very much, you know, deeper, the underbelly of Star Wars in terms of you know getting a bit thicker, adult that that sort of stuff. It was much more, uh, yeah, in in depth and a bit more. Um, yeah, just more layered and nuanced. Well, uh, but I really, but I really like this, and and you know, I I think it was I think it was fun. I had, I had a few comments come through on my on my sort of review and breakdown sort of Easter egg video. Was that a lot of people were like, "Well, don't you think Din was useless? He had to be saved twice in Bo Katan." I'm like, "Well, no, not really." You know, they 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 say it in the dialogue. You know, uh, Din has never been to Mandalore. He's never been there, so he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything at all about Mandalore, you know, he's not going to know that there was those Alamites there. You know, he's not going to, he's not prepared for it. They laid a trap. They caught him. Well, he, let's, let's you know, be he, honest. He, the, yeah. The no, crutch no, no, no. of, of the show no, is no, that okay. Okay. The, the crutch of the show is that he's, a, he's, <laughs> he's baby Yoda's dad. They even, yeah. they even called him. They, they even said your dad, you know? Yeah. Like, true, true, true. But it's so, not just that. Like what I really liked was, you know, yeah. I, and I like watching Bo-Katan be, you know, because there's a dynamic there. There's the there's a character arc that she's very clearly going to go through. I think where, um, you know, they're sort of two sides of the same. They're they're two sides of the old inhabitants of Mandalore, which they say in the dialogue. Because you've got she was the you know the the princess, and she was doing all the uh, doing all the duties that she had to to put on oh, this parade right. for all of yeah. the um, for all of the subjects. And he's basically the subject, but he buys into it so much that. And, and obviously is that sort of earnest nature that I think some of it will come through and, and will actually be true. Like, I mean, the mythosaurs there, for instance, that's a yeah. pretty huge deal. And you could see it on her face at the end. You're like, whoa. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, I like that dynamic. And there's very clearly, you know, when he said this is the way bowing his head and stuff, she was like, what? what's going on here? Um, and so that was his really cool. approach, I think, will rub off on her and she will soften throughout this season. I think but uh, we do have someone else that may want to... Uh, chime in a little bit here is andre i don't know if you watched mando 
Uh, uh, greetings, uh, everyone. So, uh, I regret mm. that I have mm. not had the time to see it yet. Yeah. I did see so, Picard, though, and something very not, strange happened with that, but I can get back to that. We ain't talking about once. Picard here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I've, no, uh, no, I no. regret that I haven't uh, seen that episode <laughs> yet. All right. Well, we will uh, keep reviewing uh, this for the time being, and then we'll uh, shuffle on to other topics. Um, you know, you bring something up in in the dialogue that uh, it's always tough to, to, to deliver dialogue, like information, uh, mm. as you're doing action. And Katie Sackoff did, she just, she was, she iced it. Cause she basically mm. was, like you said, was given all that. But then she talked about with, and that was to, 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 um, to Din Djarin. But then when she was with, mm. uh, with Gorgu, um, she's talking about, she's, she's talking about Obi-Wan. She's talking about working with other Jedis. Mm. Like, I know, you know, I know the Jedi. Yeah, she yeah, was, yeah. she was seen, she was, she would notice. got along and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. She was noticing Baby Yoda's powers. Yeah, and she's like, you know, you're not the first Yo Jedi I've worked with, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, and but she also she also says how he must be pretty pretty good as well, and uh, with the Force because right. he managed to escape and stuff. Correct. But, um, right. One thing I will praise. I thought that was well before done. Before we, yeah, one thing I will praise before we move on is I really like the scope, the scale of this episode. You know, like there's nowhere did I feel like when they got down into the mines that it was all done on the LED screens. Nowhere did I feel yep. like that was that. It, uh, you know, it, it it felt very tangible, like a really big, it, it just felt, it, it was really well done. The scale was great. I mean, this is a TV. You've got to remember, this is TV. It looked fantastic. Yeah, looked and when you really put both good. those together, both the first two episodes, because I, I heard that some people got to see the first two episodes together, that, uh, that would have been, that would have been a treat. Um, because yeah. you know uh it's it's very cinematic it was done yeah. really well i never got volume yeah. in, this, in this piece thank god yeah well there was uh, also just another sort of technical thing is when bo katan was coming in with a ship one thing that i noticed really nice just a nice little addition that the effects guys did was the wings of a ship were wobbling with turbulence just a little touch it just adds mm -hmm. To, to the realism of the universe. Obviously, it's an unrealistic universe. I get that. But having those little touches come through makes it more tangible, you know, relatable for what we, you know, for the real world. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, so this, you know, it's very realistic. It's I just liked it. I liked it really. I, I liked it a lot. It was great. Really, really good. So I'm looking forward to next week's episode. Uh, and also looking forward to what they do with the Mythosaur. Because oh, Jesus, yeah. that, looked, that, that looked... was huge. I think Andre's going to dig that. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I look forward to checking it out. So I'm sorry, but I just haven't had time to check it out just yet. But I hear that you are excited. I like, I, I'm excited to see the next episode, and I hope that mm. it's better than the first one, which was like a little bit, uh, a uh, little bit, um, yeah, so so. I heard that uh, you looked forward to it, Nate. And uh, you know what? That's that's exactly what happened to me with Picard. That's the only thing I'm going to say about it. I noticed in the days leading up to Thursday, hmm. I was looking forward to it. I was like, can Thursday get here so I can watch the next episode of Picard? <laughs> wow. That, I, can, I can't remember nice. the last time that has happened. I think that has to be like season two of The Mandalorian. I think that was yeah. like the last time when I was like, Okay, come on, hurry up now. Let's move on to the next episode. I'm so jaded from all the crap we've gotten the, the last few years. I was so happy to hear that you're looking mm -hmm. we're looking forward to this episode. And to yeah. me, that was like the big thing with Picard. I suddenly caught myself actually excited and looking forward to the to this week's episode. That's all mm. I'll say about it. 